this is the Volt Compute Schematic. Uh, this is one that has four different sections, so uh, it's pretty simple that A and B, there's no difference between them, so I can kind of ignore which way the lines are going because I know what they're doing. Uh, we just need to know that A and B are going to the inputs of the four different like kind of subsections. And we will start at the top looking at our high output. So this is the high output. We're going to look at this first. This is the circuit that the goal is to pass only the highest voltage between the two inputs. Uh, so we have these two op amps here. Uh, these are our ends. So we have A and B. And let's say uh, that we have five volts here and three volts here uh, for sake of example. Uh, so uh, these diodes here are making it so that the op amp is only going to pass a voltage if it is higher than the voltage that's currently out there. So if this is passing on five volts here, the three volts here will see this and basically do nothing. And the, in fact, the five volts uh, being higher than the three volts here, it'll actually out be put outputting like negative two because it's seeing that that's the difference between its two inputs. Um, but this one here, uh, it's actually would only get to five volts because of it going back to uh, its op amp in the negative. Uh, and that's because diodes all have what's called a voltage drop to them. Um, I think it's about 0.8 volts. So uh, if this feedback wasn't here, we would have five volts here and we'd have 4.2 over here. Um, but because we do have this feedback, that 4.2 is going to get sent back to this. This is going to try to equalize its inputs and we'll actually see like 5.8 here that then gets dropped down to that five that is actually aiming for on the other side. Uh, we then have this 100K resistor going to negative 12 volts. That gives us a path for uh, current to discharge because otherwise this is just connected to diodes and the inputs of an op amp. Uh, and so voltage would rise and never go back down. Uh, and we're doing to negative 12 volts instead of ground because we want to be able to pass negative voltages as well as positive voltages. Uh, and then this just goes through this 1K resistor to the high output jack. Um, and uh, the low output works the same way. It wants to pass the lowest of the voltages. And it's set up the exact same way, except we see our diodes are facing the other direction and our 100K is, is going to plus 12 because the diodes are facing the other direction. Uh, that now the problem is not letting, the vo not letting current charge instead of discharge. Um, so yeah, it's a, an interesting circuit there that uh, isn't uh, one that you see too often. Um, Next, this is our negative sum, and this is probably familiar to people who are uh, in DIY already, that this is just a two input uh, negative gain stage, a, a very basic mixer stage with a unity gain. Um, so uh, we have our input grounded, so it is going to see our output, uh, send that as feedback back to our negative input, that where it's meeting that, and it's always gonna be sending out an output that is the exact inverse of our two inputs. Uh, so we get the sum of these two mixed together, uh, but negative, and then that becomes the negative sum. And I, I really just, this output is there because we're already creating that and there's not a lot else that I could really think of to do. And you know, it has room for it. That's occasionally gonna be useful for you. Um, and then we just go through another inversion stage here uh, to get our positive sum. Um, the next thing to do to look at is going to be our differential amp, uh, where that gets us our differential output. Uh, and this is set up so it has a gain of one, uh, but a differential amp is basically like a inverting and non-inverting amplifier stage kind of on the same op amp. So this 100K and 100K here, that's going to form a voltage divider. Uh, here, so that's, you know, if this was 5, this would become 2.5 here. Uh, and if, the, if this was 3, uh, this 100K and 100K here, that is going to form another voltage divider. The voltage that we're going to get pushed back here through this 100K is going to be based on both of, it, both of the inputs. And this creates differential feedback so that we have an output that is going to be 
the difference between the two inputs. Uh, now this can be positive or negative. Uh, so the five and three, this would probably be plus two, but if it was the other way where it was three and five, uh, this would now become like a negative two voltage output. Um, and that's not always going to be useful. Like if you're using this to create a sequence, if it's now suddenly going like lower than you want it to, it would be useful to have a rectified version of that where it's the absolute difference is what we'd call it in math. Uh, and so that's why we have this half wave rectifier here, um, which the way this works is we have our input here that's going to a half wave here and then to this 200K here that's going to get mixed in later. Uh, the half wave rectifier just works with this diode, um, these two diodes here. This is making so all of our uh, positive voltage is going to get fed back immediately to it as negative feedback. Uh, only negative voltage is going to go out towards the rest of the circuit. This 100K is placed here as a feedback resistor after the diode, and that's going to make up for any uh, voltage loss from that diode. Uh, and if we ignored the, these diodes, this would just look like another uh, inverting gain stage. So this is inverting. So everything that was positive going into it is going to come out as negative, and everything that was negative that was going into it is going to come out as nothing. Uh, so then that negative signal and the original signal are getting mixed together at this mixing uh, inverting gain stage, uh, which is going to output, which the way these things add together, you're going to get no negative voltages and just positive voltages. Uh, the inverted uh, positive voltages were negative, which become more negative. <laughs> it gets a little confusing. Um, there's other explainers that go into just this that could go into more detail, but uh, that is, yeah, that's everything that's uh, going on in this circuit. Uh, the power is just everything's on uh, plus or minus 12 volts with my usual filtering with the 10 ohm resistors on the front. Um, so yeah, that's what this module does. Uh, thank you so much for watching.